Yeah. Uh, still in there. No, dear. Not because you're in the public. Still. <laughs> I put my boss on the spot, you know. I'm falling. I'm so used to standing. I'm so used to being on my own. But this thing is new, babe. It feels like I'm losing control. Just like the jungle in my boss, so the love I burn for your queen is it? Up top. Please. Popular known as the Young Chump. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Yeah, yeah. Young Chump is in the house. Mr. The and Mrs. Dubs. I'm all the way up. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Check, check, check. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Dubs is in the house. Right. Good. Do you tell you have a seat? I can see the future is going to look good. He's been a ladies gentleman from earlier. Yeah. Not a show, real man. Yeah. Yeah, that's what friends are for. And to give another speech. Devere was my first child, and Devere knows that. I have two boys here, grown boys, 19 and 17, so I'm a big old man. <laughs> so, Devere is my first child, and 
I love him to death and he knows that. My husband, Garth, also loves him like his own child. Um, Devere is inquisitive, he's humble, and I often say to my boys, if you do not model anyone, model your cousin Devere. He is responsible and I am proud to be his aunt. Um, Debbie, you've gotten a good man, a really good young man. Um, Devere is definitely level-headed and I am so, so proud of him. He has accomplished much and I know he has bigger things as long as he puts the Almighty first. Mommy is right here somewhere and I know she got him at a very tender, tender age. And he wore pampas at home and he wore bare bottom and he was just all up in our face. And I have seen where he came to the school that I was a teacher at, that is Spalding High. And one thing I can say about Devere, he stood out because the teachers always came to me and said, you know your nephew, he is so settled and him level-headed and he will do well. And I know persons are looking on today. I know daddy would be very, very, very proud of you, Devere. We all are. Auntie Maxine, everybody. And we love you, Debbie. I have, a, I have sisters. Welcome to the family. I know dubs just roll off the lips, right? We are happy to have you as part of our family. And remember, marriage is not a competition. It's not about competition. You're going to have tough times. You're going to have times when you want to run and disappear from the fear. But whatever happens, you're in it together. And with God as your guide, you will make it to the end. All the best. All right, hello, everyone. Matthew, if you're wondering who was that young person walking here down the aisle and her cousin, <laughs> I've been honored to walk you down the aisle. And I think that's the greatest honor I've had in my life. You are a beautiful woman, Devere. You are a handsome young man. I'll give you your props too. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I haven't had much of an opportunity to spend time with both of you together. But the small amount of time I've spent with you, I can see that you guys are really a team. You really complete each other. Last night, I heard you say, uh, "DD, <laughs> Devere, and, and Debbie." I think you guys make a, a brilliant team, and I think everyone here can look at them and see just how well they look. And I wish you guys all the best. Devere, good catch. <laughs> Devere, you can always reach out to me. Debbie, you can always reach out to me. Congratulations, guys. Good afternoon, everybody. I've known Debbie and Devere, both of them, since primary school, so yeah, from where they were me. And I just want to say congratulations. Um, marriage takes a lot of patience, so hold it down. Um, keep the very check, and all the best for the future. Hi, everyone. I'm Tree. I got dead. I did. I kept in touch with Debbie when Debbie left Jamaica since we were young. On Facebook, I started communicating since then, and ever since then, they became back to Jamaica. We had talked, and she decided to come. When she came, they met up with the bear again. <laughs> we all went to primary school together, all of us, and the bear fell in love with Debbie all over again. <laughs> And then this happened. <laughs> and so I'm proud of you, Debbie, from where you're coming from. And I'm glad to meet Debbie your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say. Let it go. Never in a million or a hundred years. Did I imagine or thought of this day happening? So, congratulations again. Debbie, going down. Well, Debbie, my part towards you and Debbie now is that, Debbie, you know, me had a, me had a father other than Neil for you. 
Every meeting, me and your whole, every reason, me and your whole. Me happy to the, me can witness it and be your MC. He said, Mr. DBA first. Trust me, marriage on the one easy road. And anybody will marry, say, the roads are the road, it's easy. Them not the path the road there. Because you know it's an easy road. But remember, anytime you guys having a fight, always remember the color and the language. And remember, ladies look for love. Man look for respect, but wrapped up in respect is love. And never forget that. Alright? Good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Adrian. And a lot of persons may not know me, but I'm not the friend that everybody would know of what they feel. But growing up, we were classmates since grade one. And Debbie and I as, as well, Sherry, Casey, all of us until grade four. We are Debbie migrated. I didn't remember Debbie to be honest, but <laughs> Debbie remembered her, right? I grew up with all her brothers and everything. With Debbie now, then Debbie went through high school, primary school, college, and he would be in the business aspect of um, school, and I'd be in food and nutrition. But there was never a day where we would not see each other on campus and talk to each other. We always had that, it's not that friendship where you talk on the phone every day, but when we link up, it's like everything just come back together in one day, you know? And I can remember you said to me clearly, yo, any girl that I meet during university, and when I graduate, that girl is going to be my wife. So this is something that Divier foreseen over the years, and he's the type of person where you have a very good man. And I can say that because I've known Devere over 21 years. I'm not that old. I'm 27. But we know each other since we were six years old. And I say that to say because when you have a person who has vision, nothing can compare to that. And regardless of everybody that were always around Devere saying, yo, you still have got school and Devere would just always have his mind set and say, you know what, I'm going to school. And I'm not gonna watch all my schoolmates who are in jobs and whatever because he knew the path that he wanted to take. And to see that you just held everything out, you went through to university, did it, you said to me, yo, this is what I need to do through school. Everything that you planned, you executed it, including today. I'm a first time general, enough respect. I'm respect you on a different level. You're a man of your word. So I know most definitely that Debbie is in good hands. And I can tell you that I, I even though we were with Debbie up to grade four, I met her a few days just before the wedding because I wanted to reunite her to speak. And what I gathered from Debbie so far, you're very stern. So my, my mom always said to me, if you find a woman in your life that not, or not act like your mother, but treats you like a mother and a wife, you find a good thing because she keeps you level-headed. We all know that you're level-headed, but sometimes you have to have someone to pull you back when you kind of stray. And Debbie is the right person for that. People always say, when you're married, you become one. That is true, but even though when you're married, you become one, you, there's no two, two people don't have the same personality. So mommy always I say, teeth and tongue are going to meet, but just know before you go to bed, don't let any stones unturn. Don't make the big garbage. And, and you unsure if she's okay and vice versa. Each other's confident because whenever time you include Speaking your parents, your family in your relationship, remember, you know, your side of family love you, they side of family love her. So if you go so boom, no, I have problem. You don't bring it to daddy and you speak to your side of family. Chances are they love daddy, but they met you I'm first. So excited. you're going to kind of not going to have that respect and love for them because everything happens you tell it don't do that share whatever problems you have with your wife and this and resolve it because at the end of the day when you are willing and able to forgive her probably your family members who love you or your family members won't be able to forgive her the way that you would or forgive him the way that you would so don't include nobody in a relationship but in the same breath that year, just know say everybody there come out for support, you know, and we love you know, and we're gonna ensure say you're not just today and you're not for call upon nobody. We're gonna regularly check up on it. We're gonna do it for years 
and ensure so they're good. You feel me? We're going to keep it up on track because we want to see soon have a wonderful marriage. And as I say, today are the only wedding girl. They're not married again. See? And we know we're going to have a wonderful family. And if you're going to be the man that we know he's made to be, you know? And he's been doing it. And you're going to be a wonderful mom because I've seen it in you. So thank you for everyone who came out. And much love and safe travel back for all those who flew in. We appreciate it. And they have a different and Debbie. Big up on yourself and see if you have a panic go on now. See? Okay. No flow. Now we're gonna move on to the cutting of the cake. We're gonna it's gonna be after the three count, right? But I want everyone to count with us. One, two, three. No, don't, 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 don't kick it. Come on, you have to share it. full, no? Come on, you want to do it again. Because the icing and the saliva and everything work, no? Two, two, I live in the yeah, yeah, You have to do that, you know, at some point. No care how you think it out. You have to go down there, you Down there, you Crazy, you <laughs> No, stop me there. No, tell you. Not because you're in the public. Stop. <laughs> I put my boss on the spot, you know. I put the boss on the spot, you know. <laughs> Right, we want to see how them broke out. Don't overeat because we don't know if you have a gyrate, you don't know how you're going to carry on. Remember, we want to see. Don't you want to see that? Yes. Right. So, DJ, no, no, this is the play good era. We want them to go on the dance floor. So, we're going to turn that to our attention right there. Good. The bride and the groom, boy, you go to the dance floor and give them the first dance. PG-13. Right, PG-13. I found love in you. And I've learned to love me too No, I tell me, say me good battery are dead. The blood of Jesus is against this battery. Battery are both black off, so I hate that. People might enjoy them. So, you know? Oh, I'm a battery. A competition. Yeah. That camera got dead, so we can't join in. We have to do a last skin. All that cherries up top. We start dab. <laughs> yeah, so thirdly, I want to thank everyone. Everyone that is here is my closest, well, 99% of my closest family and friends of both me and Debbie. And I wish you all a safe journey going back home. And thank you very much for showing us your love and also your support. Thank you. Oh, yeah.
Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I said I wasn't going to talk, but I just want to say a massive, massive, massive thank you to Marcy. What's your? Thank you. Does the cake look wonderful? I, t- I just don't Yeah. So thank you, Marcy. You've done an amazing job. <laughs> Alright, so that's the end of my speech and the rest of the week. So all of you can have a safe journey going back up. And thank you all for coming. So once again, I want to express a big congratulation to Mr. and Mrs. Dubs on behalf of myself, Adrian from GAM TV. Mr. and Mrs. Dubs were so touched by the positive feedbacks you guys showed in the comment section. They wanted me to share snippets of their honeymoon. Yes, their honeymoon. So thank you very much for allowing me to be a part of your special day. And not only to be a part of your special day, but also for capturing the moments and sharing it with my supporters. Once again, congratulations on your union and may God bless both of you abundantly and richfully. And big up on yourself and no love. See? Gum TV representing. I'm out. D. Oh, good. You're hiding. Yeah. It's a little grand tour, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I think it's all right. Is this called the honeymoon? Honeymoon. What? Sweet. So, yeah, I would say, Charles. Yeah. Girl, I was just cause I tell you that. Look at that sexy girl.